I'm Santosh Gadanka. This is a very important problem here. A compressor is driven by a motor of 2.5 kilowatt. Everything they are given. P or N is nothing but 2.5 kilowatt they are given it. N1 they are given it 1200 rpm. N2 they are given it 400 rpm. But we don't know the diameter here. At least one diameter they have to provide. If this is the situation. Then you have to refer the table 21.24. I refer the table 21.24 and see the value of uh, power of kilowatt in terms of kilowatt 2.5 2.5 uh, it appears in cross section A as well as in cross section B 2.5 appears in cross section A as well as cross section B but I will see this value exact at the end of this there is a line here, extreme end, there is a 3.16. I will consider the cross section area A. You can consider B also, no problem. Okay. I will consider the kilowatt N value 2.5 lies in cross section A. I will consider the cross section A here. Table 21.24 page number. 21.47 from that table I will consider the cross section A. Once you know the cross section A, you have to go for the table. This table you have to go. In this table, already I have considered the cross section area A. As, as I move towards lower end, there is a one appear here. That means I have to consider the diameter that is I will consider the diameter that is 90 90 that is d1 is equal to 90 here not d1 is equal to 90 suppose if it is 5 kilowatt that is if we suppose if it is 5 kilowatt just see the last number this is the last number for this line this is the last 3.56 and the B the last is 5.44 then I will consider the cross section B if it is a 5 kilowatt then I will go for this table again I will go for this table instead of A I will go for B then I will go for first preference this one and the D value one D1 will be 140 Suppose if it is a 10 kilowatt, 10 kilowatt again I will go for this. I will see this last number here. Ah, but 10 kilowatt lies here in the cross section D. Then again I will go for the cross section D here. First preference it is 21, 21. 2, 1, 2. This is the diameter. Every time you have to consider the first preference. Every time you have to consider the first preference. Now, for our problem, the first preference for the cross section A is 90. You can consider 100 also. You can consider 1, 1, 2. But you have to consider the preference 1 only. Now, I will consider diameter from the table from the table 23.31 page number 21.52 that is d1 will be 90 mm once you get this one you can easily to find out d2 value you can easily find out d2 value Now, I will find out 
n1 d1 is equal to n2 d2 n1 divided by n2 is equal to d2 divided by d1 n1 is nothing but 1200 divided by 4400 is equal to d2 divided by 90 therefore d2 is equal to d2 is equal to capital D is nothing but 270 mm 270 mm and find out the velocity also v is equal to pi d1 n1 divided by 60,000 instead of uh, uh, you can consider instead of d1 you can consider d2 also but you have to write n2 here pi into d1 is the thing but 90 into n1 is the thing but uh, n1 200 divided by 60,000 answer will be 5.65 meter per second the main intention is to find out the number of belt why we are finding this number of belt here i we are finding here i is nothing but n divided by uh, fa is equal to n star fc into fd why we are finding this one because mu is not given and alpha is not given here Therefore, we have to find out this procedure. If they are given, you have to find out the normal procedure. Now here, this formula we have to find out. We have to chase this formula. You know, we have to satisfy in order to get this number. I. First step. First step. This is the first step. D is equal to dp into fb. D is equal to dp into fb. dp is nothing but d1. fb we are going to find out. fb, they have said it. You have to refer to the page number 20, sorry, table 21-25. 21-25. This is the 21-25 table. Okay, 21-25. Finding the FP, what we required? Speed ratio is required. Find out the speed ratio. N1 divided by N2 is equal to, what is N1? 1200 divided by 400 is nothing but 3. If it is a 3, what is FB? FB will be 1.14. FD is equal to 1.14. Substitute here value d is equal to 90 into 1.14 answer will be 102.6 mm that means you have to select the cross section a it is 125 therefore uh, obtained is 102 2.6 therefore we have to select cross section A. Select cross section A. Now write down the formula. This formula I have to write down here. N star is equal to N star is equal to V 0.45 divided by V 0.09 minus 16.62 divided by DE minus 0.765 v square divided by 10 raised to 4 v value is already known substitute here d value is already known substitute here you will obtain the answer as answer as n star n star 81.11 we will obtain the answer as 81.11 kilowatt. Answer is sorry, not 81, 
it is 1.11 kilobyte so we'll obtain the answer as 1.11 kilobyte okay after substituting these values you have to substitute here v value is obtained from here substitute it you will get the answer 1.11 kilobyte next i have to find out fc value fc value FC is nothing but FC. For this one, you have to find out the nominal length. This is the formula for finding the nominal length. This is the formula for finding the nominal length. But we don't know C here. We don't know C. Then what we have to do for C, you can use this two in order to finding the C value, or you can consider C is equal to 2D. But I will consider this first formula will consider L is equal to 2C plus pi by 2 D plus D plus D minus D whole square divided by 4C I don't know the 4C C I don't know there's a question mark for me the C can be obtained by using these two formulas this is for finding the correct center distance this formula is used for finding the correct center distance don't go for finding the C value here by using this formula you can find out the c value or you can consider c is equal to 2d i will go for finding by using this data in book c max is equal to 2 d plus d 2 into d is the capital d and small d this is the small d and this is the capital d 270 plus 90 is nothing but 720 mm C mean is nothing but 0 0.55 D plus D plus T. What is T here? T can be obtained. Already we know that the cross section area A. Therefore, you can obtain the feet thickness value by using this diagram. By using this diagram, the cross section area 13 and T will be 8 here. T will be 8. Write down here. Zero point five five two seventy plus ninety plus eight. Answer will be two not six. And the average select average will be you have to select the average of this one. It will be five fourteen will become. Therefore, you have to consider five hundred mm center distance. Otherwise, or you can go for C is equal to 2D. C is 2 into capital D is equal to 270. The answer for this one is 2 into 270, 540. 540. That means you have to round off for 500 mm. How to round off this one? Suppose, suppose, suppose if it is 540, you have to consider 500. Suppose if it is 560, you have to consider 600. In this way, you have to go for it. Okay? We have to go for whole number. Just round it off. Either this side or that side. Either you can use this formula or by using this one, you can find out. Okay? After knowing the C value, I will substitute these values here. C value is I think this 500. 2 into 500 plus pi by 2 into 270 plus 90 plus 270 minus 90 whole square divided by 4 into 500. The answer being 1581.60 mm. Table refer the table twenty one point two nine. I'm going to refer this table now. This table I'm going to refer you. This table plays an important role here. It is one five eight one one five eight one the cross section area A. Now I will consider this one one five six zero nearest nearest cross section A 
nearest 1560 or we consider as the actual value for this one 1524 this is the nearest value 1524 come this side 151524 fc value is 0 0.98 1524 FC value is 0 0.98 FC value is 0 0.98 Next, I will find out FD I will find out FD FD depends upon what? Angle of contact, sorry, arc of contact of smaller pulley. Arc of contact of smaller pulley. The formula for this one is here. This is the formula for finding the arc of contact. Theta is equal to cos inverse d by d divided by 2c. Substitute, you will get the answer. Theta is nothing but 2 cos inverse d by d divided by 2c. 2 cos inverse 270 minus 90 divided by 2 into 500 is nothing but 159.26 round it off to 160 160 160 VV belt you have to consider the VV belt the value for FD will be FD will be 0 0.95 Substitute in formula i is equal to 2.5 into 1.1 divided by 1.11 into 0 0.98 into 0 0.95. Answer will be 2.66 approximately 3 belt. Approximately 3 belt. Now correct center distance. Correct center distance. You have to refer this formula. This is the formula I am going to refer for correct center distance. C is equal to L by 4 minus pi d plus d divided by 8 plus root L by 4 minus pi d plus d divided by 8 whole square minus d by d whole square divided by 8. Substitute the values. Substitute the values. The C is equal to, you have to find out the actual length. Actual length is here. 1560 divided by 4 minus 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 pi into 270 plus 90 divided by 8 plus root 1560 divided by 4 actual value it is okay minus pi 270 plus 90 divided by 8 square minus bracket 270 minus 90 whole square divided by 8. If you substitute, the answer will be if you substitute, the answer will be 488.974 mm. It is exactly near to that of the one more C value that is 500 mm. 500 mm. Specification. Specification of V belt cross section we have cited A. This is the diagram. This is W. This is the angle which is always 40 A to alpha and thickness. W will be what? 
W will be 13 and T will be 8. You have to write for this page. Page number 21.48. I am Satosh Gadanka. Thank you very much.